anti-EV advocates love to claim that electric cars still have a larger carbon footprint, but it just ain't so. I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that brings you the real facts behind popular myths. The debate over whether electric cars actually produce more greenhouse gases than internal combustion cars is actually a proxy debate between those who accept climate science and those on the side of the dying fossil fuel industry who want to turn the clock back. Their argument, intended to frighten you away from buying an EV, is that making the giant battery is such a dirty process that it outruns any savings from not burning gasoline, and that generating the electricity uses the same dirty fossil fuels anyway, so there's nothing to be gained. Now it's true that all the resources that go into mining and manufacturing EV batteries does mean that manufacturing EV produces more greenhouse gases than internal combustion cars. Depending on the car and the size of the battery, the manufacturer produces between 15 and 68% more greenhouse gases. But what they fail to note is that manufacturing is only one stage in a car's entire lifetime. And because of the fuel savings, by the end of the car's life, an EV has produced, in total, only 47 to 49% as much greenhouse gases as an internal combustion car. So now, let's look at the source of generating all that electricity, which the haters will tell you makes EVs just as dirty. A great way to look at it is this map, produced by the Union of Concerned Scientists. Taking into account how electricity is generated in every region, it shows what equivalent miles per gallon electric cars are getting, based on the greenhouse gases produced by making the electricity. In the very worst places, it's still far better than the average internal combustion cars. Most places, it's way better than that, and in some places, it's amazing. These numbers are 10% better than the map from two years ago, because the electric grid is getting cleaner all the time so it's only going to continue looking better and better. This much cleaner running of an EV is what turns the equation upside down and more than overcomes the extra greenhouse gases from the battery's manufacture. Finally, there's the recycling of the EV battery at the end of the car's life. The haters will tell you the process is dangerous, expensive, and extremely polluting. The reason we know they're lying is that this doesn't really exist yet. Very few EVs have reached the end of their life, and all EV manufacturers are just starting to explore pilot programs with recycling partners. There's a tremendous amount of investment flowing into this, and it's an exciting growth industry. So you college kids, look into it. All expectations are that recovering the valuable materials from EV batteries will be both profitable and carbon neutral. So enjoy your EV, and don't listen to yesterday's news. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you. Please visit infactvideo.com.